Welcome back. It's 518. Flooding continues to be a problem for many in our region. Our Connor Cyrus is live in Huntington right now with more. Well, Avery, the rain has stopped, but flooding conditions con flooding conditions continue here in Huntington. And I'm actually joined by a neighbor here. This is Jim. what happened to you the last night when all of this flooding happened? At 11.30, I was getting ready to go to bed. I looked at the river. It was well within its banks. I felt safe. I got up at 12.30 and looked, and the river was going through my backyard. And uh, so I went down my stairs, and it was going through my front yard, and uh, water was up to the doors of my wife's car. And so how has this impacted your morning? Well, I haven't been to bed yet, so I'm probably going to Probably going to take a snooze a little later, but, uh, you know, going to see what damage we have to repair. You know, I have uh, probably 10, 14 inches of water in my first floor. And so, you know, we, when we were talking earlier, you said that fast that you weren't able to evacuate or prepare. So is that normal for this area? Well, what usually happens, um, there's a lot of beaver dams upriver, and the water looked okay. I thought we'd be able to get out by the time we got our stuff together. I took a few steps out into the driveway. The water almost took me away. I said, I can't take the truck through here, so we're, we're here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if anything, we're going to have to go out by helicopter later, but we're here for now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining in, me and answering these questions. And um, like you said, you know, hopefully these waters will recede later by daybreak. Reporting in Huntington, Connor Cyrus, Channel 3 this morning. Hours, and then we'll get some sun in the afternoon. Temperatures dropping into the 40s. The winds really picking up over the next couple of hours before they settle down. I'm going to go over all this in detail in the Max Advantage forecast in just a bit. Thanks, Gary. And now we're heading out to Connor Cyrus, who's live in Huntington. Connor, what's it like out there, and what are police saying we should do to keep safe? Avery, like I said earlier, the rain has stopped, but the flood conditions continue. Police are urging people that to not drive in large pools of water. They, they're just telling everybody that uh, if you see a puddle to turn around, don't drown. But I'm here at Huntington Acres where I want to show you a little bit about what's going on and what this flood damage has caused. So this is a backyard of somebody, and this is normally not like this. There's rain, but now we're going to walk across to the backyard. So we go from the front yard that had lots of uh, water to this where the river has completely taken over this backyard. Normally the river is about 500 feet down uh, past what you're seeing right now. So past this tree line, this first tree line is where the river bank starts. So this backyard has been completely taken over by water. And the gentleman who's ho who owns this house says that he has about 10 inches of water in his basement. Um, but I'll, I'll have more coming up on those flooding conditions here in Huntington. Reporting in Huntington, Connor Cyrus, Channel 3 this morning. Thank you, Connor, and we will continue to keep you updated this morning.